Welcome back everyone to another Maya Top Gear and in this video I have another reflecting bullet gun the Stinger. The Stinger is a Seraph Anarchist which is actually the same as the Anarchist pretty much except it has like I just said the reflecting bullets um Everything else is the same, so it's kind of slightly better with those extra bullets, which uh, help chain reaction. The Stalker is also pretty solid. It has higher base damage and fire rate, but it is not very accurate. It does, however, have extra bouncing, which is pretty sweet. Um, and all of these pistols kind of... And you can kind of just put them all together, to be honest. In fact, I might just equip two of them. There's no really point to equipping the Anarchist over the Stinger, because the Stinger will just slightly outperform it, but, you know, if you can't farm one, um, yeah, the the Anarchist will do just fine. So, yeah, I'm uh, off to start shooting things. that I fill up on ammo? I did. All right. These things are ammo hogs. For sure, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take off my other guns. It'll make this a little easier to swap between them. And put back on my firebone. That will be a good thing to remember. Alright, cool. Silence. Ah! And like you see there, the reflecting bullets did quite well. I don't know how that guy got over there. But, uh, you can chew through a lot of ammo. And that's where I like this a little bit more. Um, that slow bullet speed and low accuracy, what the heck is happening? Um, is not always the best. Where this is, uh, just a little more accurate. As you can see, I've already chewed through a decent amount of ammo. I do have the damage accessories on these. And uh, let's get the bosses out here. For that, I might switch to the Stalker, because it definitely has a better uh, chain reaction slightly. Let's do that again sometime. Although that didn't work that well. But uh, yeah, you can see this thing's DPS potential is huge. But... Uh, like some of the shotguns, it does come in at ammo cost with the kind of fire rates you get out of it. Stay still. So this is one I'm a little more cautious about. Um, not slagging enemies with. Almost forgot about his bomb there. Let's uh, strip some shields. Give myself some room. And I'm not going to waste the bullets to go through his shield. All right. I thought I heard uh, Oni coming out there. See, we should have enough ammo to get their Oni and stuff here. And, you know, I did the last boss with the other one. And you can see how well that worked. That was pretty fantastic. But, I am down to a very little ammo here. Hopefully the next room will take care of me, because this room really didn't. And that's pretty much why these are uh, honorable mentions. 
It's a... Uh, oh, that's a pistol. It's pretty much solely on the fact that you go through a ton of ammo on them. Making them more like supplementary weapons than uh, your main gun a lot of times. It can be difficult to uh, use this as your main weapon. Unless you shoot really carefully. That helps, so. Uh, I'm not going to pick up any ammo or anything yet until I kill these two guys. So if you really aim for crits on these things, um, you can be insanely effective with them. But uh, I do see a lot of people just kind of spray and pray and hit fire with these. And I definitely see that as a pretty big mistake. You know, they... If you do that, you're going to be out of ammo in no time. So you really want to kind of almost treat these like a sniper, uh, sadly enough, and really ADS and aim for crits so uh, you have ammo left. Alright, that's better. So, I'm, wow, the game is not being kind of on ammo drops. But I guess I'm pretty full here. So in this room, I will try to use... That's not it. Get out of here, guys. This one. Where are all the enemies? There we go. You can see the bullet speed is an issue there. That guy was just running away from it. But the chain reaction is pretty sweet. It's everywhere. But is it just going to hit enemies? I guess is the core issue. I mean, when they're phase locked, fine. But a lot of these bullets kind of go off into nowhere. So actually, I'm going to go back to this because, yeah. I think I saw, saw enough of that. Alright, where are these other guys? Alright, where is this guy hiding? That's fine. I get the ironclad. I might actually just bounce him off his body. to uh, try to get a lot of chain reaction. Didn't seem to work the best though. There we go. And I might as well take these guys out Hold like it. this. There we go. Not the best chain reaction there, I wonder. No, there we go. Did get some uh, nice bouncing off the floor into him, but uh, yeah, I'm done playing. I thought I might be able to get some cooler effect bouncing bullets under his shield, but eh, he was kind of shooting me. <laughs> so I've got quite a bit there, decent amount there. Hopefully I'm still low enough to get strong drops in the next room. If not, there's plenty of ammo in that next room. I will just have to be better about picking it up. I usually don't open all the chests. Oh, should check that as well. Good chance it's going to kick me out a few pistols. Nope. So the game is being somewhat unkind on ammo. You stop. Oh, he was already slay. That was silly. Whoa. I saw those bombs dropping. Did not like that. Those bombers are dangerous. <laughs> All 
Alright. I don't like being that corner as much, it's a little tighter. And inertia is doing its job like a pro. Love that skill. So many characters would be dead right now because of that dot. Take that for granted pretty easily. So that's the hip fire, and you can see it's a lot less accurate even close up. Who is just chucking grenades at me like crazy? I'm starting to get a little low on ammo here, but uh, you know, well, I'll pick these up because I'm probably not going to be back up here. And that was pretty kind, as well as the enemy there. Ooh, badass! It's rare to get a big badass like that to pop out. Alright, well they come out of there. I'm going to try to grab a little bit more ammo and make it back. Got them for ya. Let's try to group them back up. Get roof done. What are these guys sitting like? And there they go. So I never ran out of ammo. I got a little low here and there. But uh, all in all it worked. Uh, no skin drops again. Those have been a little cold. But yeah, that is your uh, Stinger, Stalker, slash Anarchist, I guess. This is a group. I might rewrite it in the thread to uh, kind of group them all together. Uh, if anyone was reading a... That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, too. It's not the best. But it's Longbow. The Fuse Time kind of sucks. But it is times eight. That's uh, not a gun I like, but it's a cool find. Fire, Fire, Bernie. Huh. Not even a bad SMG. That was a really awesome chest. So, the Vlanoff kind of family of pistols, like I was saying, I might uh, combine them all together. And if you are reading along in the thread, you notice I skipped the gun. I did a video of that gun, and then uh, the video got corrupted. And, yeah, I was annoyed at it. I was in a pissy mood yesterday, so uh, I didn't want to redo that one quite yet. So I just moved on, and I'll go back to that gun if you're wondering about that. Now, on these guns here, this one drops from the dragons, which are a bitch to farm. So that's why I was kind of lumping the anarchist with it. There's not a huge difference between these. It's just the reflecting bullets make it slightly better. Uh, Parts-wise on these, a lot of people go, oh, it's a fast gun. I want to fire an accessory. I, I kind of caution on that because uh, I put a damage accessory on these guns. And as you can see, I, I was getting low on ammo at times. Never too much in risk, but if I were to swap the damage accessory for the fire rate accessory, yes, DPS-wise it's really good, but I would spend, be spending more bullets to do the same work, and that can get dangerous with flat off pistols. Um, so I don't really recommend fire rate accessories on these. Parts ways, you're always going to have the best DPS with the flat off grip with that fire rate. But like I was just saying, these are fast guns and uh, they have deep mags, as you saw, even though I can shoot through that mag of 74 in no time with foresight. Going with some other grips like uh, a bandit, which won't slow the fire rate, but will uh, increase the mags even more and increase your damage. Or Torg, which will give you bad reload and uh, reduce the magazine size, but it will maintain the fire rate and really kick up the damage heavily. Um, you know, those aren't ideal, but they're uh, kind of usable and sometimes fun. Uh, you just 
you know, again, you sacrifice some uh, fire rate for a decent chunk of damage, and sometimes it's not a bad trade-off. But, uh, yeah, so accessories, I really kind of just like the damage accessories with these because these guns lack damage in their bullet hoses. Um, the Stalker... Which, unfortunately, the low bullet speed... It's kind of cool that I shot that pallet around. I didn't even know that was possible. But uh, the bullet speed on these is what kind of kills it. Because it has better fire rate and damage than the other one. So it, technically it should be better. And with all these bullets, it should be better with chain reaction. The problem is they don't have any kind of enemy seeking. And uh, they rarely actually hit anything. They usually just bounce around like assholes. And there goes my ammo. Um, so this one, because it's the pearl, you get it from Oh My God, What the Hell. Or from World Drops, Legendary Loot Midgets, or, you know, just like a Chesma as they did with the Storm. That's part of the same group of guns. So that is the Vladoff, uh, kind of red text of the Vladoff honorable mention guns. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt in their sheer killing ability in this video, but like I said, the ammo thing is uh, something to be aware of as I have this annoying message on my screen right now. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you later. Bye.